grace and peace, uh, beloved St. Lucas, and welcome to our Sunday morning devotional. I pray this finds you well and uh, ready to begin your day. I have um, scripture and a thought um, and then a prayer for us as we begin this day. Um, I have been thinking uh, a lot about, um, it's going to sound really weird, but Jesus and who Jesus is. Um, we're uh, going to be stepping into uh, some of that today in worship. And so uh, as we've been talking as pastors about um, this Sunday, today, this morning, what we're going to be preaching about and talking about, uh, my dad's most favorite and formative text of his life and his faith uh, has, has come to mind. And I want to share it with you. Um, it's called the prologue of John. Prologue means the, like the beginning, the first words of John. And, um, and it's beautiful. John is a very different gospel than the other, other gospels and how um, the evangelist um, is giving a perspective of Jesus that, that's very different than the other three. Um, so I want to read to you uh, the prologue of John, John chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. So John here, the evangelist who, who writes this gospel of Jesus, hearkens all the way back to the first words of the first book of Torah, the Genesis in the beginning. And as the evangelist begins this telling of the gospel of Jesus, they do so by saying that Jesus was all the way in the beginning. There's no birth narrative in John because from this evangelist's perspective, this author, the author of John's perspective, Jesus has always been. In the beginning, God has always been. And then they use two metaphors, ideas, words, logos, for who Jesus is. And the first one is that word logos, which means word. In the beginning was the word. And so I'll oftentimes we'll tell people, you know, um, the Bible doesn't claim to be the word of God. The, the Bible makes a claim about the word of God. And it's right here that the Bible says that the word of God is Jesus Christ. Right. Um, that's what the prologue of John is saying. First, that, that Jesus has always been. Uh, and second, then, that, that Jesus is the word, the word made flesh. And that's a powerful and important uh, thing to think about. But then the, the third thing is the one that's really been drawing me back to this text is that then after saying that Jesus was always been in the beginning, that Jesus is the word made flesh, uh, Jesus is the light, the light, and darkness can't overcome it. There's been a lot of darkness um, in all of our lives. So many of you are are battling cancer right now. Um, your children are battling cancer, your loved ones. Um, so many still are furloughed because of this pandemic. Uh, 180,000 Americans have died. And there's a lot of, of darkness. And yet as disciples of Jesus Christ, we know that the light is Christ and the light cannot be extinguished by the darkness. So no matter the pandemic, no matter the pain and struggle, God's light, God's word, Christ Jesus is always with us. We make decisions to, to love our neighbor best. We make decisions to do no harm. There are decisions of fear. 
they're decisions of love. They're decisions of light. To be a light no matter of the circumstance. To shine in any of the darkness. Because the darkness can't, can't overcome it. So this morning, I, I pray no matter what darkness you, you, you find in your life, no matter what despair um, and struggle, uh, they are very, very real. And so is the light of God, the light of Christ. And I pray that, that this morning, as you begin this day, the light of Christ might shine more fully in you. And then I want to uh, share this prayer from you from uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Um, he was um, put to death by the Nazis um, right, um, right towards the liberation of, of um, the prison that he was in. He was a, a great theologian and pastor. So hear this prayer. O oh God, early in the morning I cry to you, help me to pray and to concentrate my thoughts on you. I cannot do this alone. In me there is darkness, but in you there is light. I am lonely, but you have not left me. I am feeble in heart, but in you there is help. I am, am restless, but with you there is peace. In me there is bitterness. I do not understand your ways, but you know the way for me. Restore me to liberty. Enable me to live now that I may answer before you and before myself. Lord, whatever this day may bring, your name be praised. Amen. Grace and peace, uh, beloved friends, and we'll see you at, at uh, 930 for worship.